Hey, hello, you guys. Welcome in today. Um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about the law of attraction. Um, a lot of you know that I speak about it if you follow me. The law of attraction. When I, Originally, when I first heard about the law of attraction, I thought this was about trying to attract somebody into your life. You know, a, a boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. Um, but that's not exactly what the law of attraction is about. The law of attraction is a universal law that we get what we think about. Stop and think about that for a split second. We get what we think about. It's not easy to stay positive and upbeat. Um, there are days that I, I'm dragged down and, and, and just need to come back to center um, get myself balanced. So it's not easy staying positive. But your initial reaction to anything sets the tone for how it goes. So if something happens, um, drop a bowl of spaghetti sauce, old-fashioned crock type bowl, drop it on the floor, and it breaks. It was grandma's dish sauce is ruined there's a there's a kitchen to clean you can either throw a fit you can either sit down and cry or you can just say well what else are we going to have it's your reaction because if you pick a more negative response it only makes it feel worse it only intensifies the negative heavy feeling of that ca catastrophe so picking and being in charge of your own thoughts and stopping the negative thoughts, you've got to pick out a new thought. Um, I work with a lot of clients that have PTSD. Um, the majority of them are actual combat veterans. And the exercise that I give them um, to avoid that first negative response is it's a little exercise about an old-fashioned jukebox. You know, the old type, uh, like Happy Days. And it spins around, picks out a record, puts it on, and let's just say the record's got a scratch in it. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. So that scratch just sizzles, scratch, thump. It, 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 that's our response to whatever the thought is that's guiding us right then and there. Whatever the reaction is, that's us. The song is us. That's that bump, that skip. It's our mind. On the back of those old jukeboxes, there used to be a button back there, the reject button or the reset button. All right, song skipping. It's not getting a good response. Nobody's liking it, you know, squealing through the speaker. So you hit that reset button, and that is you stopping that thought and taking the time to select a new thought. Don't stay with that thought pattern. If it's negative, if you're angry, if you're heartbroken, try to let it go. Hit that reject button on the back of the jukebox and pick another song. Pick another record. Pick a different way you want to handle it. <clears throat> Now, the law of attraction, the way this is, is lead, leading into this, the law of attraction is literally we get what we think about. So now we're in a little better frame of mind. We don't respond to negativity near as often. Um, but it comes to um, trying to manifest or bring good things into your life. How do you do that? How does the law of attraction work that way? You literally get what you think about. Okay, so if it's time to pay the bills... And you're thinking, I can't pay the electric, I can't pay the insurance, I can't pay the taxes. I can't. Source hears you and will give you more can't. Getting what you think about. If your thought is, all right, it's going to take a little work, but I got this. We got this. Something's going to come through. Something always comes through. I know Spirit's got my back. I know Source has me. I know my God will never forsake me, ever. 
that's what you're going to attract. If you're somebody who is always waiting for the other shoe to drop, oh, good Lord, what could happen now? Cars broke. Roof's leaking. The dog comes, pulls up lame, something. What could happen next? Oh, dear. Waiting for that other shoe to drop. Well, you know what? If that's what's on your mind, that's what you're going to get. You'll get more things to worry about. You have to put yourself in almost a nirvana kind of blissful state. Just, you know, don't worry, be happy. Actually, Bob Marley knew what he was talking about. Or was that Bob Marley? Who was that? Bobby McFerrin. Ooh, thank you, Spirit, for giving me that. Um, don't worry, be happy. It is a thought process that a lot of us have never lived with. I was raised Italian. My mother was Italian. My dad that raised me was Italian. Oftentimes, past the salt started an argument in our household. Um, so it is very hard to step away from those old traditional ways that, oh, what's going to happen next um, kind of thing. We just have to learn to release that. Let it go. If you think about yourself as being successful and you think about yourself as being wealthy, if you see, think of yourself as having abundance, that is what you will get. It has to be with a very lighthearted attitude um, because the emotion of what we are wanting compounds the thought or the prayer that we're asking for. So we already have to be uplifted and happy. Did you ever notice that, I know there's good, bad things that happen to good people, but did you ever notice that they get through things a lot faster, a lot better, a lot quicker? Something They always come out smelling like a rose. Ignorance is bliss. Don't let that stuff get you. If you want to stay positive and upbeat, don't watch the news. Never works. Drags you down. Can't do anything about it anyway. All this stuff that's going on in the political arena, what? how has it changed your life? Can't do anything about it. Gotta let it go. Thank you, Spirit on the Light. <clears throat> All right, you guys, getting off the soapbox, but I wanted you to understand basically how the law of attraction literally works. Our thoughts are what our God source sees and hears from us. And if we are thinking about somebody else's demise and somebody else not succeeding, guess what? We get that. Our life gets ugly. It gets sticky. You get held down in the, in the quagmire of the, the, the heaviness. But if you're wishing better things for other people, even... Now, Source really takes a look at that. If you're passing love and light on to other people constantly, you will be rewarded. I am here to tell you. I am telling you. Driving a new vehicle because of it. So, get that law of attraction. Um, one good resource for that is uh, Esther Hicks. Esther channels um, Abraham, and she speaks constantly of the law of attraction and how it works. So get that thought picked up, get feeling better, know there's light at the end of the tunnel. All right, you guys, I never leave you that I don't bless you with love and light. See you soon.